In this video, we explore the three new blend options introduced in TurboCAD 2019 Platinum. The new blend options include a three-face blend, a fixed width blend, and a G2 curvature continuous blend. Let's begin by introducing the new three-face blend. A three-face blend creates a radial surface that completely consumes the middle face. If the middle face is constant width, you'll get a constant radial blend. If you're a woodworker, I like to think of this example as a full round. If the middle face varies in width, a variable radius is created. Let's create some examples demonstrating the three-face blend in action. Our first example is a simple stock piece of wood where we'll apply a full round. Let's select our three-face blend tool, select the object, the top face, and then I'm going to rotate it a bit to get that bottom face, and then lastly the side face. And there you can see our, our full round created across that edge. The next example is more complicated, creating a variable radius round through a tilted cap cylinder. Again, we'll select the bottom face, then the top face, and then the side face. And with our last shape, we will apply the three-face blend to the top lip of a part. In this case, we'll select the outside face, the inside face, and then the top face. Next, we'll demonstrate the fixed width blend. This option allows you to create a blend that specifies the distance between the spring curves. A spring curve is the edge introduced at the tangency of the blend and the neighboring surfaces. Since the distance between the spring curve is maintained as constant, the radius of the blend may change and is hence is classified as a variable radius blend. Use this blend type if you want to have more control over the spring curves. Let's go ahead and demonstrate our fixed width blend on this example part. We'll select our blend tool, select our fixed width option, select our part, and then select the edge we want to blend. And finish. For comparison, let's create a constant radial blend on the protrusion at the bottom. Select our part, select the edge, and finish. And here you can kind of see the noticeable difference between a fixed width blend with where the distance is maintained between these spring curves and a constant radial blend where the spring curves have to move around quite a bit to maintain that constant radius. Our last new blend tool is the curvature continuous or G2 blend. A G2 blend describes mathematically how the blend surface matches up with the neighboring surface. Think of G0 as positional continuity, G1 as tangent continuity, and G2 as curvature continuity across the patch boundary. So why would someone consider using curvature blends? In some instances, there is a desire to meet certain design aesthetics, such as how light may be reflected between the blend and adjacent surfaces. Let's demonstrate this on the edges of an iPhone model. We'll select our blend. The curvature blend option. We'll select our model. We'll specify two millimeters for the radius. And then we'll select our blend. Likewise, let's do the same thing for the bottom. And lastly, let's display our smoothly blended objects in a render mode.